Hi guys and welcome to It's All About the Dough and today we have the unboxing video of a new coffee machine we just bought, the DeLonghi La Specialista. But we're going to take care of this first and see what's inside here. Okay, so let's open that up. And here seems to be a testing strip to, ma to measure the hardness of your water. All right. And we've got some instruction manuals in here. Let's just get those out to the side. Right, we're going to keep that testing strip, so make sure you don't lose that. That's very important. More paperwork. Okay, so I just took everything out of the plastic here. So we have our little cute little cup here for frothing. Look how cute that is, guys. Oh, my God, it says DeLonghi. Yeah, that's more for my wife, not me. But I do like the occasional cappuccino or latte or macchiato. Okay, and here we have... That's, that's got a freaking good weight to it. Holy cow. That's definitely nice. And assuming that the uh, cups just, apparently they just clip into place. But I don't want to tamper with it just right now. Okay, and then they give you a little box of uh, a descaler. Okay, so there she is out of the box. Take a look around. Pretty nice looking machine. Very, very professional looking so you do get that that quality uh, look to it but the real test comes from you know how does it make a coffee and how does it froth the milk as well but so far I'm 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 down with the look your bean hopper here and we're gonna put on top of the grinder here what you want to do is you want to look for the unlock indicator over here okay line those two up like that with the arrow down here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna Basically turn this until it clicks in and you'll hear a click and that's in place right there. Okay. All right. So the next step what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a single shot of espresso and I'm going to show you how to use the milk wand over here and we're going to make a macchiato. Okay. All right. So first thing you want to do, um, let's just assume you, you've just turned on the machine over here. Uh, actually let's just do, let's turn it off and let's turn it back on again. Okay, so lights are flashing as so, and your milk frother is getting ready to heat up, and your system says it's okay. Now, first thing in the morning when I make a coffee, the first thing I want to do um, is just flush out the, the brewing station right there. The reason being is because there can be uh, some grounds uh, in there, and I don't want those old grounds in my new coffee. So let's just give that a rinse. Okay. And that's also a good way to heat up the machine as well, so your water is going to be nice and hot. Okay. All right, so let's just dump that water. As you can see, there's not much inside there. A little bit of particles right there. So that's good. You don't want that in your coffee, okay? So let's dump that there inside the sink. Next thing you want to do is, because we're making a single shot, we want to attach the single um, single shot of uh, espresso filter, okay? So I'm going to put it inside there, and that just kind of clamps into place right there, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here, and you are basically want to select your, your grind size, okay? So I have mine on the fine, number one. And then over here, this is going to be your grind amount. And I have mine about uh, 10 to 12 here, okay? That's where I have mine. Now, keep in mind, every bean is going to be different. So my suggestion for you is just um, when you first initially use this machine, just find a good mediocre uh, bean that you, uh, you know, you like to enjoy the coffee uh, from. Uh, don't start with any specialty beans or expensive beans just yet because uh, it takes a little bit of practice to dial in the consistency and um, you know the flavor of coffee that you want. So uh, I wouldn't say don't get a cheap bean um, and don't use any oily beans either. Um, just means you're going to have to be doing more maintenance down the road. Um, in this case here, I am, I'm using Lavazza Crema and Aroma, and uh, it's a pretty decent standard bean. I wouldn't say it's the best bean. Um, there's other beans that I do like better. Um, maybe I'll do a review on that as well. But um, in this case scenario, okay, just buy half decent bean because you're going to go through a lot of them initially when you uh, 
when you're trying to find the right consistency of coffee and grind. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our porter filter here, okay, and then what you want to do is you want to line up the stem with the arrow right there, okay, just like that. And then that uh, basically clicks in place. As you can hear, the grinder is going, just like that. Okay, and it's done. Now, um, the light's flashing over here. That's asking you to tamp it. So with our self-tamper here, we're going to pull down it and just right to the level of the lever right there. Okay, I suggest you just doing it once, but I find that um, I do it about two times. And that actually does make a difference in terms of the extraction, I find personally. Everybody might be different, but uh, maybe it's just superstition. I don't know. But we're going to take that out, and I'm going to show you. Okay, we have our grounds here. So as you can see here, um, it's a little bit above the line. I'm not sure if you can see the line there at all. But I find that uh, keeping the grind level at this level here works perfect for this particular coffee. It might work differently for other coffees and stuff like that, but from this particular coffee, I find I get the, uh, the right uh, extraction that I want, okay? But ideally, if you even put it down to, let's say, uh, to about uh, 1130, uh, that's where it's gonna probably get you the right amount of grinds, but I like it about there, okay? Everybody's got their own personal taste, but you, by all means, don't follow what I do, okay? So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your porta filter again and then just line up the, uh, the stem there with the arrow and then with a nice good push we're gonna lock that into place one second there we go just had to use both hands there okay all right so that's nice and uh, tight inside there okay and then you're gonna drop down your little special tray there you don't need to use this if you don't want to uh, i find it convenient because um it draws the uh the coffee a little bit closer to the cup as well Okay, I think it's useful. So I'm gonna get my macchiato cup because that's what we're gonna be making, a macchiato. I'm gonna place it right underneath right there. Okay, now keep in mind, um, if you're using a single uh, filter um, dose of uh, the coffee instead of the uh, double one over here, okay, don't make the mistake of uh, pressing this button here, okay? Because what that's gonna do basically, it's gonna obviously um, it's going to pour you a double shot. You're just going to get a long shot. It's going to be very watery. But not only that, if you have that on and you put your grounds uh, in the single shot, it's going to overflow your ground. So if you're making a double shot, make sure you use the double shot filter. Make sense? Okay. So I'm going to turn that off. All right. So from here, you're just going to press the OK button. Okay. And we're going to take a look at that zone there. And ideally, you want it in around here to there. Okay, there we go. That's uh, pretty close. That's good. Okay, so that's a good level. It's almost at the middle. If it if it doesn't go in the middle, don't worry. If it's over a little out of the middle, that's fine too. Okay, so let's take a look at our coffee here. Okay, and that's not half bad. We got slightly. Um, slightly under extracted there, but the bulk and majority of it is, is pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Okay, so next up we're going to do is we're going to use the milk wand, the uh, latte wand over here, and we're going to make ourselves a macchiato. So I'm going to set it to the foam setting, as so. Just put a little bit of milk inside there, okay? So ideally you want to be using a um, either whole milk or 2% milk, but in this case, I'm using just 1% milk. Just took what's inside the fridge. Okay. And uh, we're gonna turn the switch on over here. Okay, I'm just gonna raise the cup there. So you don't have to angle it or anything like that. Um, just set it, forget it, let it do its work. There we go. And let's just pour a little bit of milk inside there. Make a nice macchiato. There we go. And then let's pull a little bit of foam here. I'm just trying to do this with one hand here. I'm by no means an expert, but I like my macchiatos. Look at that, Look at that beautiful foam. Nice, it makes a nice, good, thick foam. Okay, and that's with uh, just a 1% milk. 
So if you have a whole milk or a 2% milk, then it's even better. Let's see how much foam we can get on there. Make it nice and peaky. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, eh? There we go. That's a nice macchiato. Okay. So there we go, guys. We made our beautiful cafe espresso macchiato. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so once you're done using the milk one there, we're going to want to clean it. Okay. Uh, let's set it back to the flat position there. Let's turn on that valve. go and it's all done okay so now your milk wand is nice and clean and that's not gonna clog all right comment like uh, share with all your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button all right guys hope you enjoyed this video